Hey, it's me, Pro Jared. Welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club, where we last left off. Uh, there's a there's a, a festival coming up, and we're gonna we're gonna recite a bunch of poems in front of a bunch of people. It hopes that is going to recruit a bunch of more people into the club. Uh, just to remind everyone. Uh, Please don't spoil anything for me in the comments. I know I, I'm sure a lot of people are excited and want to talk about it, but this is, I'm still trying to play through this as blind as possible. Please don't spoil anything. Uh, in addition, I also want to remind everyone that this did have a warning at the beginning of the game saying that people with anxiety or depression should have caution when playing or experiencing this game. And I just want to bring that up again to kind of remind people. I'm anticipating this to talk, probably talk about some pretty heavy stuff. And I want to make sure that you guys are also aware of that, so just put that out there again. All right. Uh, so we just ended the school day after reading our second poem. I walk home with Sayori once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sayori is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Sayori. <laughs> Sorry, I was spacing out. Ah, no wonder. Um, I was, I was thinking about something from earlier. Like, how we get to... I mean... Sayori fumbles with her words. So, let's just say that one day, Yuri also asked to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. She's noticed. Ah! Oh! <laughs> 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 Oh, damn it. All right. Uh, um, if Yuri asked to walk home with me, would I do it? Or would I stay true to my friend Sayori? <sighs> Look, mm, ah, mm. I kind of want to go down the Yuri route. Yeah, mm, I'll feel a little guilty, but I'm gonna stick to my guns. I would walk home with Yuri. How often do you get to do that? She's so, she's so shy! So it's not like I get to do that a whole lot. Walking home with Yuri, huh? Why does the thought of that make my heart pound? I mean, given how hard it is for her to socialize, I would feel awful turning her down. So, isn't she so beautiful and smart? That has nothing to do with what I just said. Ha <laughs> ha, so you admitted it. Ouch, got me. Jeez, there's not even any point in speculating something that's never gonna happen. Well, maybe, but I just like to think about it. It's not long before you won't need me anymore, you know? Need you? Sorry, I can't figure out how you're seeing things in your head right now. Sorry. Everyone is different. Nobody in the club is a replacement for you. Hmm, if you say so. A conversation trails off and I'm left feeling awkward. But it was kind of her fault for trapping me with such a weird question. I can't just lie to her. But if there's something that makes her happy, I would hate to take that away from her. That's why I said there's no point in speculating. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that time? Until that time or at the actual festival? Oh, we're doing another one! Alright. My third poem. By Pro Jared. Tenacious... Uh... Ah, uh, tenacious, uncontrollable scars. Say, are you like that one? All right. Uh, are heaven sent, but are filled with tragedy. Existence is uncanny, agonizing in its infinite melancholy. Uh, uh, Meager passion, uh, uh, deep in the starscape, is, uh, uh, brings wrath, uh, to, to atone for, to atone, to forgive, uh, the, the vivacious, uh, defeat, is, uh, is, uh, uh, gives insight to the <laughs> poof. <laughs> I'm not, no, I'm not gonna do poof. <laughs> insight to the, uh, ocean. 
<sighs> Nailed it. Aw, <laughs> oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. Haha. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting the club and now picking up piano? Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that we're all willing to help out for the festival, too. I can't wait for the festival. It's going to be great. Hmm? Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival, but it's the whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Ma, ma, ma. I've been pronouncing Monica, but I'm just going to say Monica for simplicity's sake. I think, I don't know how. I'm gonna, we'll go with Monica, because I'm white. Monica? Do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You, of all people? Uh, I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all... <laughs> what do you mean by you of all people? Because it's right in your name. Monica. Eh. That's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. <laughs> Maybe it is supposed to be Monica. Monica. Alright. I'll still say... Whatever. <laughs> Jokes. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or Sayori's anyway. Excuse me? Where is Sayori anyway? Oh, there you are. Sayori is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room, looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Huh? You're spacing out again. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh? Is everything all right? Uh, of course. Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Sayori shows me a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Oh, She's doing that thing where she totally has like a mad crush on me, but is like, I don't want to get in the way of your happiness. And so now she's like distancing herself from me. I know what's happening. If you say so. I worriedly glance at Sayori before turning back toward everyone else, but the conversation is already dispersed with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. Jared, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? I'm reading it in, into it a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? Can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Sayori, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Jesus, can't erase my feelings. Maybe there is something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the I'm not the one asking you, Jared. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really like this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time, when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me, too. I mean, I'm also friends with her, and I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Uh, are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just has a hard time bringing it up with a person of interest. A person of interest? What do you mean by that? <laughs> I'm so dense. I am saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Jared. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but Sari talks about you more than anything else, you know. Uh. She's been so much happier ever since you joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. Aries, you crying. Stop crying, cat. What? No way. Sayori is always like that. Do you want to play Doki Doki Lantern Club too? You can come up. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it has always has been. Nailed that, nailed that line. <laughs> you're so funny, Jared. Have you thought that maybe you're all, you've always seen her so cheerful because that's just how she is when she's around you? 
Ah, I said too much. I'm sorry, what do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you could ju should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Uh, alright. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her. But she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear from her hear her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else. But that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her that I'm letting this weigh on weigh me down so much? Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. But there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? I glance around the room. Suddenly, I notice Yuri peering at me from over her book. Oh, oh, she's she was just like... Oh, don't mind me. I'm just very intensely reading this book. Oh, look, the, the words are so good. But she looks just uh, looks looks away just as quickly with a flustered look on her face. I realize that she won't get anywhere like this. I've never really seen Yuri approach anyone or start a conversation on her own accord, so I have no choice but to approach her myself. By now, it's a little easier for me to do that. Now that we had that intimate book handling. I stand up from my desk and sit in one next to her own. I didn't mean to bother you or anything. Relax, you didn't even do anything. But I could tell that you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. Alone with my thoughts? How were you even able to tell that I was thinking like that? Well, it's something that I do a lot, so it wasn't hard for me to spot based on your posture and expression. Not that I was staring or anything! I didn't do anything creepy like that. In any case, I guess you were right. I'm sorry if I caused you any concern. Don't apologize. Your troubles are the, are the only concern of those who are willingly sharing that concern. Of course, there are certainly those who find the most comfort in keeping to themselves, but if you would prefer to share what's on your mind, then I would be glad to listen. Uh, it's really not that big of a deal. I was just feeling a bit uneasy about Sayori. Sayori? Yeah, she seems a little off today, but when I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh, that's quite romantic. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to say something stupid. It's not that, I just didn't want you to misunderstand. Sayori and I have... Sayori and I have just been friends for a long time. Yuri. We are friends. Eh? Eh? That perhaps it is unusual for her to be dismissive to you about her feelings. Or maybe I'm just reading into it a little too much. Jared, the world is full of meaning often hidden deep beneath plain sight. And there are many untold mysteries behind every person, no matter how well you may know them. Uh, so you think there might be something behind it after all? Mm, I think that Sierra is a very complex person. Her mannerisms on the outside don't always match what may be going on inside her head. And she may not always know what she wants. I noticed her strange behavior today too. And I also feel some concern for her. But in your case, I, it looked like she was fully occupying your thoughts, wasn't she? Well, I guess that was the case. Siari, she really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Ah, uh, ah, uh, I guess. But you don't need to put it that way. We're just good friends. That is all. Baby. <laughs> Yuri suddenly looks deep into my eyes. Her expression is gentle and curious, as if she was searching for something. Embarrassed, I avert my gaze. Sometimes, a person's mysteries are untold even to themselves. And you, as someone honest and caring, may uncover feelings you weren't aware were in you. That's... that. I think that she would be a very fortunate person to have you feel that way about her. Yuri, you're giving me too much credit. I'm a pretty simple guy. I like boobs. So I think I'm pretty good at understanding my own feelings. I'm not nearly as sophisticated as you. Ah, that's not a compliment, is it? It is what it is. Now, now I'm getting kind of smooth. Anyway, as long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? Well, as long as you're okay with it. Oh, I'm okay with it. Let me just uh, get this book out. Why don't we go ahead and get started? Yes, that's. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. 
Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk, then we'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs. Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Mmm. Yes. Yes, let's take note of her. Long, slender legs. This accentuated by her skirt. Okay, may I, ha may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, I, I might as well walk with you. Just walk right next to those legs of yours. Shall we go then? Yeah. Hmm? Where are you two off to? Uh, uh we're just... Yuri's gonna make some tea. So, I suddenly realize how weird it sounds to explain this to Monica. We're just filling the water pitcher. Ah, okay. Sorry, I was just a bit curious. That's kind of a one-person job, isn't it? That's... Monica, please mind your own business for once. Oh, snap. Or do you want me to tell there's... Or you want to tell me there's something wrong with helping involve Jared in club activities? Uh -huh. My mouth gapes. <clears throat> uh, I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> then let's go, Jared. Uh, Yuri quickly exits the room and I follow. I'm just like, ah. Uh, I'm the first to go. Once in the hallway, she puts her forehead against the wall. I spoke without thinking. How could I say something like that? Yuri. I just... Something about the way she said that. It made me feel so irritated. What's wrong with me? No, Yuri, I think you did the right thing. I wasn't expecting it, but it's also not right for Monica to judge people like that. Jared, how come even when I do something bad, you're being nice to me? Because I'm trying to get laid. Nothing you do is as bad as you make it seem in your head. Nobody's perfect. We have emotions. We can't always hide them away. But you always amplify things in your head. Your mind turns a light rain shower into a hurricane. Uh, no. Wouldn't you hate me for something as terrible as that? Why would I hate you? I can't hate someone for having emotions. What kind of friend would do that? Friend, you say? Uh, mm. Yuri lifts her head. Did I screw up? I said friend. That, oh, no. Jared? I really like being friends with you. Oh, oh, man. Shouldn't have said friend. I said friend. I was like, yes, we are friends, aren't we? Platonical friends. La, 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 la. Dang it. I blew it. Or did I? Thanks, Yuri. I like being friends with you, too. I'm a nice guy. I feel kind of awkward saying something like that, but I'm doing my best to help Yuri feel better. Anyway, uh, yeah, shall we go? Yeah. Yuri and I walk to the nearest water fountain. Once we fill up the water pitcher, we return to the classroom. Jared, do you like oolong tea? Uh, yeah, anything is fine. Whatever you like, I, I like, I also like. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course, I should do an a less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything? <laughs> In that case, she'll only be even more impressed. Uh, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show, and you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided that I would try to express, try expressing myself a little bit more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do, when it's you who's around anyway. Uh... That's, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Jared. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea with each of us. <laughs> She's so professional. It's Dragon Ball Z. Just going... Jared, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Uh, why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Uh, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's most likely because... 
I wasn't gonna joke about it or just assume or go down that path, but yep, we're going there. It's it's because you got them gigantic boobles. Hmm. It's most likely because of my uh my your posture, right? Always hunch over like that while reading. It must be bad for your posture. Your posture is poor. Yes, I have terrible reading posture. So that is why we should sit on the floor. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. <laughs> I retrieved the book from my bag. Ah, I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies that I hit, kept hidden from Sayori's candy radar. They were inside a lead casing within, so it just deflected it off of her sonar. I take it, since it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I then sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. <clears throat> Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. Oh, how am I supposed to focus on reading like this. Yuri is always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus because now I need to worry about making sure I don't actually touch her chest. Because I, I got the book in one hand and the teacup here and my hand is just right next to her, her boobs. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all of my I use all of my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Uh, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Uh, that's that's okay. I won't take any. Are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then it might get smudges on the pages. Ah, you're right. Jared, you book-reading noob. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Oh, hello? Oh, this room is very dusty. But it makes her... It really accentuates everything that's... Going on here, Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have any harder of time reading from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. My leg? The top of my leg? That's close to where my wiener is. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Oh, did if you wanted a chocolate, I could just, you know... Give it, give it to you, and I hold it up to Yuri. I take another chocolate and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if, as if this situation was completely natural. Oh, that, that means I can't stop here. Take the wheel, I'm going in. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Oh, there it is. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. And just a little bit over my finger as well, right? <gasps> Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um... Jared? Sorry! I guess I shouldn't have done that! Uh, that's... well... you were just helping. That's something that friends do, right? I mean... Not really in this kind of context, but... Yeah, that's all it was. Yeah, then you don't need to stop or anything. Woo! Woo, the tension! Okay. I see. The situation has gotten really tense. Yuri tries to return to the book, but I can tell just by her expression that even she can't focus now. My, my heart is pounding. I nervously take another chocolate between my fingers, but this time Yuri's eyes meet mine. How did it even come to this? Yuri doesn't divert her gaze. I notice her chest rising and falling to the rhythm of her breaths. Breaths. Not breasts. Breaths. I said that right. I raise my arm. <sighs> like before, Yuri parts her lips. Oof. Oh. Oh. Mm, see, that's... 
That's that's just that's just sexual body language. It's a you see it advertising all the time. Anytime you want to uh, denote someone as being like aroused or like or has sexual gaze or or whatever, uh, they just have the lips slightly parted. That's just a very sexual thing. So next time you're looking at advertisements, especially like clothing or perfume or whatever, look at their lips. It's always just a little bit open because it's sexy. It's like a weird uh, body language thing, but. It's different this time. I take the chocolate and place it in her mouth. I feel her hot breath on my fingers. Oh, okay, okay. hello. Oh, uh, ah. Yuri jolts back. It's time to share poems. Jared, you can help me. You put away the tea stuff, right? Yeah, yes, yep, we're done here. Put away the tea set. We're good. We're good. Yep, yep, yep. yep. The spell's abruptly broken. <laughs> oh, I'll take care of the cups. Yeah. Yuri picks up the teacups from the floor. I pick up the bag of chocolates. In the end, we hastily clean up without so much as a word between us. I get the feeling that this is something neither of us will have the courage to bring up. Well, I, I go and put the teacups away, but with a very noticeable erection walking across the room. Hopefully no one noticed. All right. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll call it right there. As uh, next I can start showing off my poem to people. Uh, who would I show it to? I'll, I'll, I'll figure out the next episode. Alright, so far so good. Making a lot of progress with Yuri. Uh huh? Uh, be sure to leave a comment down below on how you think I'm doing, or if I missed anything, or if, uh, if you're on the, if you're on the Yuri, Yuri boat, or if you're with someone else. Uh, and also be sure to like the video and subscribe, please. It helps me out a lot. As always, thank you guys so very much for watching. See you next time!